we are back to our editor where we developed our first nice little tree of four nodes one two and three and four so what we are going to do now is we are going to traverse this tree using the breadth first search but before we start with the coding for breadth first search let's talk about some of the logics behind that so to perform the breadth first search on our tree we will take help of the queue data structure So Q is nothing but an array where the element is added to the end of it and taken out from the front of it. So I have declared a variable Q and it is nothing but an empty list. What I will do is to perform the operations of Q to this list, what I will do is I will do Q dot append element to add the element at the end of the list. Then I'll do Q dot pop zero, that is to take out the element at the zeroth index, and that is taking out the element from the front of the list. Now, how do we use this data structure for traversing breadth first search in our tree? So, first of all, I will declare another variable by the name visited. And this will be again a list and what this will do is this will store the nodes that we are visiting in the breadth first search traversal so the approach starts with adding the root node to the queue so I'm going to add one to our queue over here and everything every time I'm going to repeat three three set of commands to the queue the first thing that I'm going to do is pop from front and the one once I pop I will add to visited check left child check right child and if I find the child I will add it to queue simple that's 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 the entire thing that we are going to do so let's do that uh, I pop the element so the element that I am popping is popped element is root and it is one so I have popped it uh, once I have popped it I add it to the visited so I'll add it to visited I'll check the left child yes I have found the left child and that is two and when I find it I have to add it to the queue I'll check the right child did I find the right child Yes, I find I found it so I'm going to add it to the queue again and now I'm going to repeat again so that is I'll pop from the left that is 2 so now the element popped is 2 I'll check if there is a left child yes there is a left child 4 okay we have done this so we yes there is a left child 4 and since there is a left child I'll add it to our queue that is append and then I will check if there is a right child so it's not there right it's empty so the way is to it's set to none right so there is no right child so we do not uh, add to queue now again we will pop from the queue this time it's 3 popped element is 3 and we'll see uh, okay uh, the, the moment we popped 2 we had to also first add to visit now uh, so 3 we have popped 3 so again add to visited check if there is a left child no there is no left child check if there is a right child no there is no right child so again repeat the uh, re repeat the set of commands pop from the queue popped okay this is 4 add the popped element to the visited okay add it is there a left child no is there a right child no okay now again pop from the queue but there is no element on the queue so okay just stop the uh, stop everything so we have traversed the tree and in and doing so we saw that we were doing the breadth first search that is we were adding the uh, two three to the queue and then we were traversing them from left to right and again adding them adding the child what we were doing were we were going from left to right for each level and that was the entire purpose of the breadth first search so back to the editor and now we are going to define the function for performing the breadth first search.
So we are here to program breadth-first search. First let's define a function by the name bfs and it will take root as the argument. So now we will create a queue, an empty list and the visited another empty list. Now I'm going to append the root to our queue for starting. Now I'll start a loop and that loop will stay on while the length of the queue is not zero. That is while the queue is not empty. So remember we are going to perform just three commands. So first of them is I'm going to pop from the front of the queue and store it in the variable node. So I'm popping the front node from the queue. Then what I'm going to do is add or append that value of that node to our visited array. So I'm going to visit it dot append node dot val. Next I'm going to check if this node has a left child. So if node dot left is not none that is if node dot left I want to append the node dot left to our queue and if the there is a right child that is node dot right I want to append that to the queue as well. Now outside the loop when the traversal is over I want to end the function by making a return call to the visited list that we created throughout the traversal. To get some output what I'm going to do is I'm going to print and make the call to bfs function and set the root as n that is uh, this n is coming from the tree that we created over here right here n equal to node that we created and instead of root equal to n I can simply pass n. So now with this I'm going to run the program and I expect 1, 2, 3, 4 in order to this be displayed in the form of an array and there we have it. So this is coming from the BFS and on top of it is the simple print that we did. So while doing the manual print we figured that it won't be feasible to do the uh, to visit manually uh, to all the nodes if there were hundreds of thousands of nodes on the single tree but using the breadth first search it doesn't matter how many nodes the tree has uh, everything will be displayed in the form of an array with our function breadth first search that we just defined and all we need to do is just pass the root and it will perform the breadth first search traversal and return the nodes in order that we visited by performing the breadth first search.